I thought that this was gonna be such a waste of time. I was like, it's not gonna work on my hair. Now look at me, eating my words. This is Beauty or Bust, where we test out the beauty world's weirdest products and decide if they're worth your money or a total bust. Today we're gonna to be testing out Rev Air's reverse air dryer. So this Rev Air reverse air dryer sucks air rather than blows the air, which I'm very confused, I don't get it. So because it sucks the air rather than blows the air out, it's supposedly gonna take all the stress out of doing an at-home blowout. I'm gonna evaluate the Rev Air based on its ease of use, its speed, and its effectiveness in straightening this whole situation out. This thing is freaking huge. Oh my God, I can't even believe it came in a package this large. I'm kind of nervous to see what the actual product looks like. This is not fitting in my bathroom. All right, so let's get these boxes out. Oh my God. This thing looks like a mini vacuum. I needed an arm break. I think my hair is sufficiently wet enough and we're gonna start off by doing the test that Rev Air recommends you do before you just go full force and do your entire head. It's already sucking it a little. It's not unpleasant. <laughs> I barely feel it at all. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> I just sneaked a little peek and I have a feeling that this is it. I think it's straightened. Okay, 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 we're gonna take it off. This is wild. It's actually working. I don't understand how, I don't understand why, but it's working. I think it's taking a bit longer than usual just because I'm trying to find my footing right now and see which, which of these levels actually works for my hair and my hair type, but <gasps> this is kind of amazing. I'm so impressed right now. It's not like as straight as I would like, like it to be, but from my natural hair texture to this, that is really impressive. I thought that this was gonna be such a waste of time. I was like, it's not gonna work on my hair. Now look at me, eating my words. Now I have to do my whole head. I feel like power level seven with high heat is working out pretty good for me. So now I feel confident enough to kind of move on to other parts. So let's keep going. So we're about halfway through right now and I am freaking speechless. I don't think I've ever managed to correctly straighten my own hair with a normal brush and a normal blow dryer at home. I think one thing that's just like a little bit concerning to me right now is that it's not 100% straight and I feel like it's taking a lot longer than what they say it's gonna take in order for you to actually have straight hair. Now that I've tried out the Rev Air and my hair is completely straightened, I've already formed my thoughts and opinions. But just to be a little bit more thorough, I'm gonna have my friend Danny try it out on her wavy hair and see what she thinks before telling you my final, final thoughts. Hi, I'm Danny, and this is my natural hair. So I would call it semi-straight wavy. Oh, the machine's not on. <laughs> cool. Ah! I think I'm done. That was about 15 minutes maximum. I'm not surprised at the speed because Honestly, it would probably take me 15, 20 minutes to blow dry my hair with a normal blow dryer. I guess my biggest thought is it, it just looks like my hair, but like a little bit better. 
So while I think it worked well and I liked it, I just feel like for every day, like I don't need it. This has been a tough one. I've been sitting here racking my brain trying to figure out what I do really think about the Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer. It is very intimidating looking when you first open it up. That's, that's the truth. It is actually really easy to put together and use when it comes down to it. It wasn't as fast for me as it was for Danny. I just think it all depends on the hair texture. Still, in my opinion, not as long as if I did it myself with a blow dryer or if I went to the salon, but still, not as short as what I thought it would be. Does that make sense? I think it does, you know what I mean. <laughs> Effectiveness is where I'm like, ugh, I don't know if this thing is worth it. It worked great on Danny. I feel like it straightened her hair relatively quickly and it looked awesome. With me, it's, it's not the best. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. It's just not the straightest. I think it shows a little bit too much texture for $399. I don't want to call it a bust, but if I have to, I'd say it's a bust. My hair looks great if I just do this. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Hey, and then you do this and you're like, witch! <laughs>